uh, now in 2020. I mean, this movie gives you a good opportunity to get back out there and to share. Um, what is your concern today about the role of faith and, and what people of faith should be doing? Well, okay, so first of all, my, my, my job is to get people in the theater, why should I go? One, it's a, it's a great film. Second uh, of all, of how is this relevant today? Well, it's relevant because um, we have this thing called cancel culture, and if Christians don't watch it, it will be canceling Christianity as well. Because a lot of our pastors, okay, our bishops, our priests, they're laying right over. They, they let their churches being burned, all right? How do we know that? Well, it's right there in the news. Statues being ripped down. They don't say anything. And I watched a movie that Mel Gibson did, Braveheart, when you have the English who's the bad guys against the Scots, but the real bad guys were the guys that were collaborating, all right? That's why we're in this situation right now. We can't go to churches. We can't go into our church. Well, why? Because they could get contaminated, right? So then why are we on airplanes? I have friends that have committed suicide. I have seven, I have seven uh, SEAL buddies that have lost seven of their friends of uh, committing suicide. And would it have helped to be able to get into a church, especially during this time? Absolutely. And is it good for mental illness? Yes, it is. And so um, uh, the collaborators in our faith, all right, this is where the persecution starts. You've got to have guys inside your faith that won't, stand up to the governors they will not stand up to the mayors and that's why the gospels are very much alive right now okay so there are many of us, i got to play jesus some of us love peter or paul but there are many of us right now there are are flat out judases okay or they're pontius pilots or they're they're the pharisees okay and it's a bloody shame if you can't tell the difference between a, a priest a, a bishop or a politician it's really sad but this is called lukewarmness and christ has a very special place for them and they know it whoa well